Uh, now, Jago Wright was on Pierce Morgan and she did a very scathing interview about P. Diddy, Beyonce, Jay-Z. Honestly, if I'm being honest about this whole thing, I don't think that we should drag Jay-Z into it because Jay-Z, we have no evidence that he has done anything. And we have no evidence that Beyonce has done anything either. There are rumblings that they might be a tape of Beyonce and Jay-Z, but then again, we can't clarify anything because these are just speculations and rumors. So I find that very interesting and I don't know. I think we're getting drunk on power. We're starting to realize how powerful we are on our platforms and we're using our platforms now for evil. And I don't think that that's the way to go. It's, it's a scary thing. Let me see. And this, and this video has gone mega viral. Make, I'm talking about like crazy viral. So we're gonna get into it, we're gonna break it down, we're gonna watch the full video, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. But honestly guys, when digging deep into this topic about P. Diddy, I think we have to be very cautious. And this is a man's reputation that we're talking about. I know there's allegations about Usher, there's allegations about Meek Mill, Justin Bieber, and that's also a thing which I also want to discuss about, you know, P. Diddy. I mean, apparently, allegedly, he did something to Justin Bieber, right? And I'm just like, if it was a black boy, if it was Usher, people wouldn't really care. When they were saying like P. Diddy might have done something to Usher, we didn't care. No one was like, oh my gosh, Usher is the victim. No one said that. But once he touched a white boy, then people are like, oh my, up in arms. So it's wrong on both sides. So I think we have to keep the same energy across the board. Guys, I, I don't want to watch this. I, I really don't want to do this. I don't want to watch this. <sighs> I love Jay-Z. I grew up on Jay-Z. I grew up on Kanye. These are my heroes. Well, Diddy's downfall has sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and beyond. The blast radius from the uncovering of his alleged offences could yet swallow many more powerful and famous figures. Diddy is accused of creating a criminal enterprise which engaged in sex trafficking, racketeering, kidnapping, bribery and forced labour. His lawyers say he'll fight the charges. But after the testimony you're about to hear, he'll be staggered he avoided the attention of law enforcement for so long. I'll speak to a lawyer, a whistleblower and an insider for an uncensored insight into the showbiz scandal of a generation. And Jaguar, I'm going to start with you. Um, you've been called a whistleblower. Um, you knew Sean Diddy Combs for a long time. You attended a number of his infamous parties. <sighs> um, and in 2022, you made headlines of comments uh, where you called him a sex trafficker. Damn. Um, and in response, you were called crazy mm. and jealous. Uh, do you feel vindicated yes. by the events of the last few weeks? No, not mm. at all, um, because he's just the beginning. Until him and his cohorts are all held to account publicly and legally, the victims, they're not safe. Mm. How, how bad was That's it? That's what I care about. I care about the victims. No, I understand. How bad was it, do you think, what was going on? I'm going to tell you right now that me, as a woman who has been in the industry for over 30 years, um, I've been performing live since I was 13. My first handler was McKinley Horton. Um, I come to find out 25 years later that a scar that was on his face with a very elaborate story he gave me was put there by a woman who he assaulted. Guys, do we really want to know how the bread is made? That's a question that I've been thinking about because it's like <sighs> Don't we just want to eat the bread and not really think about okay These people got you know, like it's like the same thing with the iPhone. There are kids right now That are getting cancer just because the iPhone is created the 
batteries are horrible. And there are kids which are mining that with their bare hands. And we don't give a damn. So I'm not saying that we should not care about the white kids or the kids in, I guess, America and what is happening to them. Of course we should care. But the African kids as well. No one is talking about them. We're just like, hey, well, it's this P. Diddy thing. And also, what is this distracting us from? That is also the second question which I have because I, I believe that something else is happening. We're getting a new moon. Do you guys hear about that? We're getting a new moon. I thought there was only one moon. Now, apparently there are two. So um, I don't know if this is... This kind of feels like a scam. All of this feels like a scam, guys. Leave it in the comment section. Do you guys feel like this is a scam? Do you think that this is a diversion? That they're trying to hide, I don't know, like maybe what aliens are on their way here? So they're like, oh yeah, we're getting a new moon. Like, don't, don't care about that thing which is in the sky. Like, why is there a thing beside the moon? Aren't people going to start asking questions? Yeah, but it's a new moon. Like, don't care about it. Like. Okay, I mean, the, the world is round as well, you know, so like, it doesn't really matter. To live through these things and hear <sighs> your elders, elders in the business, people like Patti LaBelle say, just avoid him, honey. Mm. Um, and being taught to be a, just avoid him, honey. It's not good enough. Not when you live through these things, you're still suffering the PTSD created by all of this, and you're talking to a victim that's 20 years younger than you, and she's telling you the exact same thing that happened to you. <sighs> so you wanna know why there's no vindication for me? Mm. Because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. Mm. And the victim-making machine kept going on. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. He starts little fires everywhere, forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response. I mean, she is right about that. Dame Dash, Jay-Z destroyed his career. We've got R. Kelly, allegedly, he had something with that as well. So now it's P. Diddy. So Jay-Z is, Jay is very cunning and is very smart when it comes to maneuvering. He's one of those people which he can stand beside you when you're extremely hot. But when you start to cool down, then he, he moves away from you. So I have to agree with her. Yes, she's 100% right. If he was diddling kids and diddling small girls, we do not know that. I just want to put that out there. YouTube, do not demonetize me. I am saying that we do not know that that's allegedly and I'm reacting to somebody saying this. So do not demonetize me, okay? I'm just, it's, it's crazy. It's a crazy situation, but I'm saying we have no evidence so we can't throw him under the bus. That's what I'm saying. That change is now, Sean. <sighs> you must respond. You have no choice. Harvey Weinstein. Mm. Jeffrey Epstein. Damn. Robert Kelly. Sean Combs. Have one person in common. Professionally. And privately. Sean Carter. Okay. If those are the five people which you hang out with, or four people that you hang out with, uh, Jeffrey Epstein, R. Kelly. R. Kelly is not even a good friend to have, but let's say he's your friend. Something happens with R. Kelly. Don't be asked the question like, were you also there? Were you also diddling kids? Were you also with these 14 year old girls or 13? I don't know what age. Were you also doing something crazy? Because that, that, that is a crazy accusation and it kind of makes sense. I don't even want to take me, myself, as an example, but let me take... Pff, 
let's take Michael Jackson. Like he was cleared from all of his, you know, accusations. But if everyone is accusing you of something, if a hundred people are accusing you of doing something, you might be a little bit guilty. I'm just saying, I'm saying you might know something. Maybe you're not like super guilty, but a hundred women are coming out and saying that that's your kid. A hundred women, all of them pregnant and one, you haven't slept with one girl. It's like, it's a little fishy. This has been a fist of tyranny that has been punching through our culture and our society for decades. It must stop. There's been obviously a lot Cruelty of- Cruelty-free artistry. Right, there's been a lot of uh, <laughs> rumor mill about what has happened in the rap world. A lot of allegations that the misogyny in the lyrics clearly was based on mm. a general misogyny towards women away from the music. And that clearly seems to have been borne out by these charges against Diddy, which if he's found guilty of all this, he's never coming out of prison. How dangerous do you think- Thank God. How dangerous do you think he is as a person? I think he's one of the most dangerous people I've ever met. A lot of people have been questioning, well, she doesn't really know him. She has no knowledge of him. She doesn't have a picture with him. I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan. I would never take a picture with the devil. Oh my God. Everyone knew he was the devil. Okay, if everyone knew about P. Diddy and no one said anything, they're complicit. Then I also have to say this, Allegedly, P. Diddy killed Tupac or sent the hit on Tupac. I'm starting to believe that now because P. Diddy blew up Kid Cudi's car. And if a man is willing to do that to Kid Cudi, and Kid Cudi is a nice guy. He seems like a nice guy apart from wearing the dress and acting fruity and being a fruitcake, being a donkey rider. He's a nice guy. So I'm like, who would want to kill a donkey rider? You know, it's like, come on, don't, don't kill Kid Cudi. Tupac, that was a crazy situation. Tupac, uh, allegedly, there's this story. Apparently, a while ago, when Tupac was alive, Tupac, Biggie, and some others were called into a room. They sat down and they were talking to certain figures, the people which run the world. I'm not gonna say who they are, but the people which run the world. So apparently they sat down, they, they had a meeting and half of the hip hop industry left the room because they were proposing something which was so horrible to do to the black community. And apparently, allegedly, P. Diddy and others stayed in the room. That's why hip hop has become so dark. Now, everyone who has posted about this story, their video has been taken down. So I'm not going to tell you specifically what they did. I'm just, you know, giving you a broad stroke so then you can fill in the gaps. But allegedly that happened and P. Diddy was one of the people which sat in the room. Allegedly Suge Knight left the room. Allegedly. Tupac left the room and Biggie and some others. Allegedly Snoop Dogg stayed in the room. So if you look at it, all of the people which passed away and all of the people which went to prison, all of those people left the room. So I'm just saying, he might be the devil. He, he just might be the devil. I agree with her there. He's been the devil for 30 years he's been covered and protected mm. by not only clive davis but mm. lucian grange he was selected to be the demon that he is mm. to keep the culture in line so the industry could continue we have too many lost the list of lost is ridiculous and everyone knows <coughs> Diddy was selected mm. for this job. He's the Judas. 
Do you think that if he's cornered in the way that he's been now, that he may start revealing things about other people? He has no choice. His ego and his drug addiction won't allow him to do anything different. Anybody who thinks he's not going to talk is crazy. The simple fact that he's not saying more now only means that the people who have been protecting him all along, who put him in position to be such a horror to the black community, still find value in him. He's got everybody on tape. They I think Diddy should fry. I think so. The harm that he has caused the black community has been poisoning our black youth. And I think that he should fry for that. And if you look at P. Diddy as a person, he's a squealer. It's, it's never the people which you expect. It's always those guys which are like, ah, oh, my guy, bruh, he looks, he looks a little fruity. You know, he, he looks like a fruitcake. He's dancing in the videos, all up in the videos. That is the dangerous guy. The guy which you underestimate, that is the dangerous one. Now, yes, I think he's going to squeal. I think he's going to rat. I think he's going to tell us stories about everybody. It might be so that he might, just might, get, you know, before he even starts talking. And if that happens, then Jay-Z gets to continue on and all of these people get to continue on because it's just going to be shifted to somebody else. All of these handlers, this what Corey Gamble, because Kanye has been talking about this the whole time. He's like, Corey Gamble is a, what is it called? Um, what is the word that I'm looking for? He's a handler. Corey Gamble is a handler. Uh, Cardi B is a industry plant. Uh, all it, like Kanye has been saying this for years and no one has even taken Kanye seriously. I made a video about this, what this was, was it maybe what, two years ago? When he was talking about P Diddy, he was like, P Diddy's a fed. No one wanted to listen to Kanye. People were like, oh, Kanye is crazy. Oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Somebody literally drunked him and said he was going to take his kids from him, from a certain community. And what happened? People were like, oh, you're being something. I can't even say that word. We all know it. For those who were never at these freak-off parties, what were they like? See, this is the thing. Everything that I'm about to say to you is not my first-hand knowledge. It is my first-hand witness account mm. experience. I was a sex worker. I was a dominatrix before <sighs> I got my record deal. That's how I know how the dark world and the sex world and the entertainment world run hand in hand. That's why the movie Blink Twice is so important. Oh my god! Salute gosh. to Zoe Kravitz. The sex workers that I have worked with throughout the years and continue to work with even to this day have worn hidden cameras. I have my own tape. I've seen what they do, the ritualistic <sighs> behaviors, the drugging. I don't know, guys. Putting girls in the suitcases, <sighs> dumping them in alleyways. It's, it's, it's horrifying. And it's all done under the protection of this is going to be paid off. There's another NDA. This is going to be, it's terrible. It seems to have been something that people, a lot of people knew about, but people were simply too scared knows. to talk about. Everyone knows. And every person that's sitting there trying to act surprised knows very well. 
The whole point of this, like Cat Williams said when he sat with Shay Shay earlier this year, the whole point of this is for them in a coordinated effort to pretend like none of it is real for the public's perception. But everyone knows what's going on and mm. it's been going on for years. It's been going on before Diddy. See, people keep looking at him like he's the Sputnik that came out of nowhere. This is someone who was designed to be what he is. Mm. We got to stop making ditties. And if we're going to do that, then we got to go back. We got to go back to even further the mentors of these people. Because Diddy was taught how to do what yeah. he does systematically. And Clyde Davis has been his greatest teacher. Okay, guys, I just have to say this. Jaguar, right? You might get offed. Somebody might send you to Christ. The things that you're saying in this interview, you can't say it. Trust me. The powerful people which you're naming right now, those people are going to send you to Christ quickly. I don't even understand how Pierce Morgan dares to put this out. He's a mafia boss. Guys, do you know what mafia bosses do to people? She's a brave woman. You never go against a black woman. That's that's all I have to say. They don't they don't care. Black women do not care. She's very brave. I'm just saying this my this is this is the interview of the year. But it has already almost 3 million views. This just 24 hours, my guy. They just they just launched, they just put they just put it out on the streets. They just put a little a little white powder on the streets and the people are going crazy for it. This is what we want to hear. The only thing which I think will beat this interview is if Cat Williams comes out and he's on Pierce Morgan as well. If he's, you know, he's funny and he's, you know, doing what he did on the Club Shay Shay thing, like, bro, then it's, then it's done. Because they're saying similar things. I, Clive Davis is not here to respond to that, nor is Jay-Z. Um, but a lot of people, famous people in the music industry have been notable, like I say, by their silence so far. It's also been notable that since the Me Too campaign began in 2017, the music industry has largely, largely avoided the same scrutiny that other industries have had. Why do you think that is? I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear that. The, the, since Me Too began in 2017, the music industry yes. has largely avoided the same kind of scrutiny that other industries have had. Why do you think oh, that yeah. is? Well, because the Me Too movement was a ruse. It was a setup. It was a scam. I'm saying that now, publicly. Dream Hampton spearheaded the surviving R. Kelly campaign, which full, it, it fueled the Me Too campaign. And that was all funded by Sean Carter to make sure that Robert Kelly went to jail. Get his lick back. Why is nobody understanding that Dream Hampton was being financed and ran by Sean Carter? They were able to go and get all of these witnesses because he was there with Robert Kelly, how does Jay-Z sit down with Gail King and she not ask him one question about the intersection between him and Aaliyah and Robert Kelly? This is insane that people keep refusing to see what's right there. Do if the Me Too movement were real, why aren't they speaking now? They've also been very quiet in this time of the Diddler's downfall. Jaguar, Guess if, they this, on vacation. if this goes to court, Jaguar, do you think that... That's what I'm saying. Everything is a scam, guys. Do not believe... Like, sometimes I'm watching the news and I'm like, ah, oh, what are they trying to... What are they trying to program now? What are they trying to do? Because it's usually the thing which you see on TV isn't really the thing. That's just a distraction. That's just to get you looking at at this other thing, you know, like, oh my gosh, check, look at, look at this thing, look at this thing while they're screwing you over. You remember there was a thing which happened and we all were in our houses 
while these billionaires became gazillionaires. And they were like, oh, there's a, there's this thing. Look at, look at this thing. You gotta be careful. Don't go outside. Why? So they could take the last. The crazy part about those guys is that, you know, in order for a society to function, you must have a middle class. But what are they doing? They're removing the middle class because they're too greedy. Greed must have somewhat of a filter. That's the only way that works. If you take everything away from the people, guess what? The people are going to revolt. And this is happening in so many other countries where like, the people are like, I can't even make enough to afford a house. So why even try? Let, let me go out and just protest. Let me go out and just like dethrone the president. And that is what's going to happen to, I think, a lot of these countries. A lot of European countries, they're going to go through a revolution. That's what I think, at least. Because the rich people became too greedy. And you can see that even in America right now when they're striking. I mean, everything comes into a country through a shipping container. So if the shipping workers, they decide to strike, guess what? Nothing is coming into the country. And if nothing comes into the country, my guy, you're losing billions. It's going to be shocked by what comes out. Oh, absolutely. I just don't know why they are. Mm. It's been happening in front of everyone's faces for decades. For decades. How many victims? What's the difference between me and Judy Garland? Social media. How, how many victims? There was none for her. How many, mm -hmm. how many victims potentially do you think there could be? Thousands. Thousands. I've talked to hundreds that I deal with still myself. I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not Ugh. only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. They're a nasty little couple. They do nasty things. What do you think happened with Kim? Keeping Paul people against their will. Putting people on planes while they're unconscious, just like Aaliyah got on that plane. Unconscious. There's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about, Pierce. Listen, like I said, Jay-Z and Beyonce are not here, uh, unfortunately, to respond to that. I know. Um, I I'm just being honest with you. You're perfectly entitled to your to your views, obviously. Uh, Kim Porter, yes. a new book claims that Diddy may have been involved in her early oh death. What do you think of that? Oh, my gosh. I think people should really look into that more. I am friends with Albie Shore. I love him. I love his children. I, I knew Kim. We used to all hang out together at the Kit Kat Club back in the mid-90s when Diddy was first starting his reign. I watched that whole thing happen. And everything that Albert has been through, every attempt on his life that has been ignored by the authorities, it all leads back to Diddy. And everyone knows it. The wiretapping of the phones, putting air tag on children during visits. These are normal practices that these people do. Jaguar. Um, I've got to leave it there. I really appreciate you joining me. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me. And thank you for... It's a weird world that we're living in when Jaguar Wright is on Pierce Morgan. Jaguar Wright? I can't believe it, guys. Now we got to listen to the culture vulture, Vlad. Listen, I hate Vlad. With all my heart, bro, I hate that guy. I hate that guy. He's, I'm not even going to say it, guys, because you know how it is, but he's from a certain community 
and that guy has has done so much horrible things to the black community but then again let's listen to this culture vulture for caring i do care thank you very much <sighs> Uh, well, I'm joined now by the host of Vlad TV, mm -mm, DJ Vlad. Mm -mm, uh, mm -mm, DJ Vlad, I mean, pretty mm -mm. horrifying listening to these testimonies. Um, what, what did you make of what you just heard? Uh, well, Jaguar Wright is known to be a conspiracy theorist. Look uh, at that, bro. Really close on anything that she says. Uh, I've never had her on my show, and I don't have any plans to have her on my show. Um, you don't believe her? She had an album in 20 years, and a lot of this stuff is just stuff she's heard, things she's making up, and so forth. Uh, I'm not saying that there aren't serious things that Diddy may have done, but yeah, I can't co on anything that Jaguar Wright is saying, if that's your question. Well, I mean, obviously, since we last spoke, there have now been these charges against Diddy, which are incredibly serious. You didn't think yeah. at the time uh, we last spoke that he was likely to face these charges. Are you surprised it's come to this? I'm not surprised because I feel that law enforcement in general is reactionary. Mm. I think that when you look at high profile individuals, their True. arrests, indictments usually come after a documentary, uh, a big TV show, or in, in Diddy's case, it was this huge lawsuit that Cassie filed and everyone got to see all the details and all the attention that came to it. So, yeah, it wasn't a surprise uh, that it actually happened uh, because you've seen this happen over and over again. R. Kelly. Um, Harvey Weinstein, all the attention that he got, and then now uh, Diddy. So yeah, I mean, this is ultimately the world that we live in. I'm joined now by uh, Ariel Mitchell Kidd, who's a lawyer for one of uh, Diddy's alleged victims. Um, thank you very much indeed for joining me. There are so many people coming forward now with allegations about Diddy. What, what do you think about the scale of this case? Um, well, before I get into that, I kind of want to address the prior two panelists. Um, first with Mrs. Jaguar White, uh, she said a lot of things that were very jarring in her explanation of what she saw and had firsthand accounts on. My concern for her, she's saying a lot of things that could be considered libelous. Mm, right. And I would suggest that she contacts an attorney if only to vet the information she has or purports to have from other victims. At least they can protect her and then they can also do their due diligence, the attorneys, to make sure that the information she's receiving is accurate outside of the things that she knows and may have proof mm -hmm. of. Uh, I was very concerned about some of the things that she had said in her prior segment. Um, I also want to address uh, Mr. Vlad, who I know to be a culture vulture who takes from the black community and doesn't give back and puts artists in situations where then they are indicted by the police. Mm. And he's very much so uh, what we call police type investigation in the black community. And for him to repudiate what Mrs. Wright has said, I thought was completely out of line. He can say he doesn't agree, which is fine. But um, for him to be someone who constantly uses the black community and uses them as uh, a means for his platform, mm. I thought that was very inconsiderate and unprofessional. Now, to get to your question that you asked of me um, regarding the victims, there are victims coming out every day, even someone who contacted me last night. So uh, and it's only standing to be more individuals coming out. I do talk to some of the other attorneys who represent victims that we already have known because they filed cases who have additional victims who plan to come forward and they plan to file cases against very soon. So it's only a matter of how many more are going to come out. And it seems to be it'll be very many more. You've said that you've been contacted regarding the sale of one of the Diddy Freak Off tapes mm. and that it features a very high profile celebrity. What can you tell us about that? So actually, uh, I recently was contacted by one of my business partners, who's also an attorney, who said to me, well, why are we not writing the demand letter to <coughs> try to do the catch and kill? And I said, well, if you want to do it, uh, then I'll connect you and you can essentially do it. Uh, he was also concerned about wanting to protect the other person who was in the film, uh, mainly because I've known about this for about 
three and a half weeks to about a month, I've been communicating with these people who purport to have that videotape. And it wasn't until Thursday night that they outright said, can you write on your letterhead a letter to the individual who's also in the tape and see if they're interested in a catch and kill? And is that something we'll give you X amount of percentage of it? And at the time I was like, uh, I, I don't think I want to be involved in this, but I hadn't had time to process. But the other attorney I'm speaking of, uh, he's pretty much been in the know the entire time uh, since I first got contacted by these individuals. My God, guys, tape. this is and, big. Um, we're pursuing now a meeting with the three of us for us to broker, I guess, a situation oh, where we'll have certain shit. guarantees that once we make the representations to the person in the tape, that we have some level of uh, assurances that this is a valid tape. And, and just to be clear, two thoughts about this. One, is it a household name that we're talking about here? And secondly, are they engaged in any criminality from what you understand? Um, I, household name, very much so. Uh, more of a household name than Mr. Combs. Oh and, my uh, gosh. Criminality, they are engaged in pornography. Um, they're not doing anything illegal um, per se. Uh, I can't say that the uh, well, I'll say this. My concern was that I could not verify the age of the individual. Oh. And so that was my concern about not having anything sent to me and viewing it in the way that I yeah. did uh, via steals, via yeah. FaceTime video. Yeah. So I didn't want to have anything in my phone because uh, my issue is we can't determine if this person is 17 to 20. Oh, my gosh. OK, OK. That's where we're going to stop the video. Listen, guys, first of all, if this person which is on that tape is Jay-Z, yeah, it has to be either Jay-Z, Kanye, bruh, I'll, I'll put out five guesses, right? I hope that I'm correct, okay? It's either Jay-Z, it's either Kanye West, Leonardo DiCaprio, Who else was at a Diddy party? Bruh, this is, this is crazy. Okay, who else? A household name. Somebody which everybody knows about more than Diddy. It's either Jay-Z, Kanye, Leonardo DiCaprio. Could it be Aston Kutcher? He's also good friends with Diddy. Maybe Justin Bieber. I don't know. Maybe one of those. One of those because I remember Justin Bieber used to hang out with Diddy a lot before. And maybe that's why Justin Bieber is crying in every interview that he does. That he maybe did something to... I'm not even going to say it because that is... Your channel would be taken away, but maybe did something to a girl which is not legally of age that's all that i have to say but allegedly we do not know she saw a video and she's a lawyer so i'll take her word for it but leave it in the comment section who you think this mysterious figure is on this tape bruh i have to be honest guys i love going to church I love being a church man. I like reading the Bible, that's it. I like just being at home. I was at home yesterday, I went to sleep. I know I know it's maybe boring and you know I'm not going to any free coughs and not doing anything crazy, but it's it's crazy enough for me. I I I bought these new like marble it's like cookies. I was eating cookies yesterday, you know. It's just, just chill, just having a chill time, you know, because that's way better than doing all of this. But then again, I'm all here for it. And I just have to say to all the celebrities right now, first of all, it's good if you come out and condemn this. LeBron James could be LeBron. It could be LeBron. I don't know. I, I Let's not put anything out there which we can't confirm. 
but that's crazy. I think there are a lot of people right now which are in a lot of trouble. And if this comes out, which I think it is because somebody's gonna leak this video. I think what they're trying to do right now is just to have, to make some kind of money from it, right? If they can, I don't know, maybe have it under paywall on a website, maybe like OnlyFans, then maybe they're gonna do that. But if it's illegal acts, I don't, I just, I would not be able to go to sleep if there was a tape of, I'm not even gonna take myself as an example. If I was, I don't know, Jeff Bezos, and there was a tape of me doing something like that, like me, I'm Jeff Bezos, and there's a tape of me doing something to a girl, and it's out there, I would not be able to sleep if I was Jeff Bezos. But then again, that's a crazy situation. Leave it in the comment section, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace -os.